in times when you're going through a health crisis, an emotional crisis, or a financial crisis, connection becomes that balm that will soothe your hearts. Namaste. Did you know that self-harm is the leading cause of death for people aged between 15 and 44? Also, statistics show that approximately three times more number of men than women die from self-harm every year. Why? Because in your own families, you live like strangers. Our hearts don't really reach out to each other. Friendships have become immensely superficial. A deep, unsettling loneliness is killing you. Many of you spend entire day listening to music, watching videos, playing video games and are isolating yourself from the rest of life and from other people. You do not connect with anyone. You do not connect with nature. You do not connect with a cause. And some of you don't even connect with yourself. Why do you feel unfulfilled in your relationship with people? I would say that we need to fundamentally transform who we are and learn to connect with the world around us. In times when you're going through a health crisis, an emotional crisis or a financial crisis, connection becomes that balm that will soothe your hearts. It will become your strength to tower over challenges. It will become your channel to connect to the divine and open grace into your life. Connection does not merely mean an interaction with one another. We have interacted all our life and our words eventually have left us feeling empty. Do you think connection is about partying together, golfing or smoking together? And at the end of the day, you feel depleted of all energy? Definitely not. It is also more than watching a movie together, vacationing together, chatting or video gaming together or networking together. So what is connection? To connect is to feel the other. To connect is to celebrate the joy of another, to be with the other in their joy. Not to behave and feel as if your joy were separate from another. To connect is to be sensitive to another's unhappiness or inner conflict. It is to make a conscious effort to help them free of their inner disturbance. To connect is to be present. To be present, to listen and to feel the other instead of incessantly speaking or being lost in thought. To be present is not to take the other for granted, but to truly appreciate the other's presence in your life. Does this make connection sound feminine? No. Connection is neither a masculine or a feminine experience. It is the essence of being human.